On September 12th, 2025, astronomers detected a massive new interstellar traveler using the SWAN instrument aboard the SOHO spacecraft. What they found was unlike anything seen before. The object, officially named C2025R2 SWAN, stunned the scientific community the moment it was confirmed. Why? Because early measurements suggested it was not just another comet drifting into our solar system, but something nearly 100 times larger and brighter than the already mysterious 3i Atlas. Within hours of the announcement, observatories across the globe turned their instruments toward this dazzling newcomer. The sheer brightness of the object meant that it could be picked up even by amateur astronomers with mid-range telescopes. And in less than two days, renowned Australian comet hunter Michael Matiazzo captured an image so extraordinary that it left scientists speechless. Unlike the faint icy wanderers were used to, Swan burned across the sky with the intensity of a cosmic beacon. Its size and luminosity instantly set it apart from every recent discovery. For many experts, this wasn't just another frozen rock from deep space. It was an astronomical event of the highest importance and potentially one of the most significant interstellar encounters in human history. When scientists began measuring C2025R2 Swan's tail, the numbers were almost unbelievable. Stretching across more than two and a half degrees of the night sky, its glowing trail is five times wider than the full moon as seen from Earth. Imagine stepping outside and looking up at a ribbon of light so vast, so bright, that it dwarfs everything around it. That is what astronomers are now witnessing. Against this blazing spectacle, the once impressive Three-Eye Atlas suddenly appears fragile and insignificant. Its own narrow, thread-like tail is little more than a faint wisp beside Swan's overwhelming brilliance. The difference is like comparing the thin smoke of a matchstick to the roaring inferno of a wildfire. This scale is more than just a visual marvel. It raises deeper questions. For a tail to reach such proportions, an enormous amount of material or energy must be erupting from the comet's core. But the sheer consistency and brightness of Swan's emissions don't match the chaotic, uneven activity seen in ordinary comets. Instead, its light is steady, powerful, and strangely defined, as though something far greater is driving it. Astronomers are left with a puzzle that grows larger each night. Is this truly just a natural comet, shedding dust and ice in spectacular fashion? Or are we looking at a phenomenon that hints at something far more advanced? As telescopes focused more closely on C2025 R2 Swan, astronomers began to notice details that didn't fit the profile of a normal comet. Its luminous tail wasn't chaotic, like the uneven spray of vaporized ice we expect. Instead, it appeared structured, sharply defined, and almost engineered in its precision. The flow of light and particles seemed to hold its shape, as if guided by some hidden force. Even more startling was the discovery of a sheath of highly ionized plasma surrounding the core. This wasn't just a hazy coma of dust. It behaved like a barrier, bending and deflecting the charged particles of the solar wind, almost as if the object were shielding itself. Natural comets don't build defenses. They erode, fragment, and scatter under the pressure of the sun. But swans seem to be actively holding its form, resisting external forces with something that looked disturbingly deliberate. Some researchers have cautiously suggested that these observations hint at controlled propulsion or shielding, mechanisms that no ordinary comet should possess. Small, periodic pulses of brightness have even been recorded, as though energy is being released in measured bursts. Could these be signs of a high-efficiency plasma drive, nudging the object along its path with precision? The more scientists study SWAN, the more it resembles not a passive wanderer of the cosmos, but an active presence, something that seems aware of its journey and determined to complete it. 
The deeper scientists probed into the heart of C-2025 R2 Swan, the stranger it became. Using advanced spectroscopic analysis, they attempted to measure the sheer amount of energy being released from its core. The results were staggering. Estimates suggest the object is generating well over 10,000 gigawatts every single second. To put that into perspective, that's nearly equivalent to the entire combined power output of human civilization, all unleashed by a single source drifting through the void. This level of energy is far beyond what a natural comet should be capable of. Ordinary comets produce energy from sublimating ice and trapped gases, but even the most active among them pale in comparison to what Swan is producing. Its luminous tail and brilliant plasma sheath demand a constant, massive power supply. Nothing in our current catalog of natural cosmic phenomena can account for this level of sustained output. The implications are chilling. If this energy is being harnessed and controlled, then SWAN may not simply be a comet. It could be a construct powered by a system of unimaginable sophistication. Some theorists even whisper the words artificial origin, suggesting that what we're witnessing may be evidence of technology operating on a scale humanity has never encountered. For the first time, the question is being asked openly. Is Swan just a visitor from the stars, or is it a machine built to travel between them? As if C-2025 R2 Swan weren't mysterious enough on its own, the timing of its arrival has left astronomers deeply unsettled. By an extraordinary cosmic coincidence, or perhaps something far less random, Swan will reach its closest point to the Sun, known as perihelion, within just days of the interstellar object 3i Atlas. Two massive visitors from the depths of space, arriving at nearly the same time in nearly the same region of the solar system. Even more striking is their separation. At their nearest, the two objects will be only about 50 million kilometers apart. A vast distance by human standards, but practically a handshake in astronomical terms. For comparison, that's less than half the gap between Earth and the Sun. In the crowded dance of our solar system, such proximity between two interstellar wanderers is unheard of. And then, as October unfolds, both objects will slip behind the blinding glare of the Sun, vanishing from our view for weeks. To astronomers, this disappearance is agonizing. Just when the data is most critical, just when their trajectories and behaviors might reveal the truth about what they really are, both will be hidden by our own star. When they re-emerge, their paths may have shifted, their appearances altered, and their mysteries deepened. Whether this timing is mere chance or part of something more deliberate, no one can say. But the stage is set for an October unlike any humanity has ever witnessed. With two colossal interstellar objects arriving so close together in both time and space, astronomers are racing to predict the possible consequences. One of the most immediate concerns is fragmentation. If either Swan or 3i Atlas breaks apart under the Sun's intense gravitational pull, vast clouds of debris could scatter unpredictably through the solar system. Even small fragments moving at interstellar speeds would pose serious threats to satellites, spacecraft, and possibly even Earth itself. Another possibility lies in gravitational interaction. While 50 million kilometers may sound like a safe distance, objects of this scale passing near one another could still influence each other's paths. Even a subtle tug might alter their trajectories, sending fragments into new orbits that no one had anticipated. The problem is, with so many unknowns, astronomers can't say with certainty what will happen once they round the sun. And then there's the scenario that most excites and terrifies scientists. A direct collision. Should Swan and 3i Atlas meet head-on, the result would be an explosion of cosmic proportions, releasing more energy than anything humanity has ever witnessed in space. The aftermath could light up the skies of Earth with breathtaking meteor storms, 
but also cede orbital space with hazardous debris for decades to come. For now, all eyes remain fixed on the sun's edge, waiting to see whether October brings a spectacular light show, or a warning about just how fragile our place in the cosmos truly is. As astronomers continued tracking C2025 R2 Swan, its orbital data revealed something astonishing. Calculations suggest that this isn't a one-time traveler from interstellar space, but a recurring visitor on a cycle of roughly 22,554 years. That means Swan has likely passed through the inner solar system before, long before recorded history, when ancient civilizations were just beginning to rise. This revelation has sparked a wave of speculation. Could humanity's earliest stargazers have witnessed the same blazing object streaking across the skies? Some researchers believe so, pointing to strange alignments in ancient monuments. Structures like Stonehenge, the Pyramids of Giza, and even megalithic carvings across South America may encode astronomical knowledge far beyond what we assumed. Were these monuments simply calendars and temples? Or were they warnings left behind after a previous encounter with Swan? The idea is controversial, but it cannot be dismissed. Ancient cultures around the world revered the heavens, often linking cosmic events with cycles of renewal, destruction, or divine intervention. If Swan's appearance was recorded in myths, legends, or architecture, it may mean humanity has already seen and feared this traveler before. Now, as it returns once again in our own time, the question becomes, will we finally understand the message our ancestors may have tried to leave us? Or will history repeat itself under the same blazing light? Beyond the dazzling visuals and immense energy output, some researchers have begun asking a more unsettling question. What if these objects aren't natural at all? Observations of 3i Atlas already hinted at unusual properties. Its nickel-rich composition, controlled emissions, and apparent propulsion, but Swan takes the mystery to an entirely new level. Some theorists suggest a chilling scenario. 3i Atlas could have been a scout, a smaller reconnaissance craft sent ahead to gather data on our solar system, perhaps testing conditions or even measuring our planet. Swan, in this theory, is the follow-up, a massive fortress probe armed with staggering power, capable of shielding itself, maneuvering, and performing complex operations. Its purpose might be to recover information, replenish resources, or even neutralize its scout if its mission has concluded. The idea seems like science fiction, yet every measurement points toward controlled behavior rather than natural processes. The sharp tail, the plasma sheath, periodic bursts of energy, these could all be signs of an intelligent design at work, a machine operating on scales and timescales far beyond human comprehension. If true, this would transform our understanding of interstellar travel. We would not be observing a random comet passing by, but a deliberate, coordinated presence, visitors capable of surveying, interacting, or intervening in our solar system. And while the concept is difficult to accept, the data forces us to consider it seriously. As scientists piece together the timeline of interstellar visitors, a startling pattern emerges. In 2017, Oumuamua passed through our solar system, silent, fast-moving, and largely unobserved beyond its fleeting trajectory. Then came 3i Atlas, an object displaying unusual propulsion and an energy signature far beyond natural expectations. And now, in 2025, Swan appears, a colossal, luminous presence that dwarfs its predecessors. Some theorists propose that these events are not random, but a sequence, a form of first contact unfolding quietly before our eyes. Oumuamua may have been a passive observer, silently mapping our star system. 3i Atlas could have functioned as a scout, gathering detailed data or testing the environment. And Swan, with its immense energy output and protective plasma sheath, may be a command ship sent to coordinate, retrieve information, or even act upon the scout's findings. 
There is also the unsettling possibility that these objects are responding to signals we have been transmitting into space for decades. Radio waves, TV broadcasts, planetary radar, and even deliberate messages like the Arecibo signal. In this narrative, humanity is not being greeted with words or spacecraft landings, but being silently audited by machines far more advanced than we can imagine. If this interpretation is correct, we are witnessing not just the passage of comets, but the movements of intelligent interstellar actors, an unprecedented moment in human history, one that challenges every assumption we have about our place in the universe. Despite the extraordinary discoveries surrounding C-2025, R2 Swan, and 3I Atlas, the world's leading space agencies, NASA, ESA, and JPL, have remained remarkably silent. Public statements are cautious, measured, almost deliberately understated, leaving the public and even many scientists in a state of uneasy anticipation. There are no urgent alerts, no global briefings, no acknowledgement that humanity might be witnessing something unprecedented. Yet the silence does not lessen the importance of what is unfolding. Whether these objects are natural interstellar comets or deliberately engineered probes, the consequences are staggering. If natural, they offer an unparalleled opportunity to study the building blocks of other star systems, to observe interstellar matter up close, and to deepen our understanding of the cosmos. If artificial, they may represent the first undeniable encounter with technology older, larger, and more advanced than anything humanity has ever imagined. Machines capable of operating on cosmic timescales, responding intelligently, and interacting with our solar system in ways we barely comprehend. Ignoring these events would be a grave mistake. They challenge our categories of knowledge, blurring the line between astronomy, archaeology, and the possibility of intelligence beyond Earth. They force us to reconsider humanity's place in the universe, and perhaps even to develop new frameworks for understanding life, technology, and cosmic communication. The universe is speaking, whether we choose to listen or not, and for the first time, the message may be unmistakable. As October approaches and these two interstellar travelers vanish behind the sun, we are left in a rare and humbling position. Observers at the edge of a cosmic mystery, whether C-2025, R2 Swan, and 3I Atlas are natural wonders, artificial probes, or something beyond our understanding entirely, the implications cannot be overstated. We may be witnessing a sequence of events that challenges everything we thought we knew about the universe, our history, and even ourselves. For weeks, we will watch and wait. The moment these objects re-emerge from behind the sun could reveal interactions, alterations in trajectory, or phenomena we have never imagined. Scientists are bracing for breakthroughs, for discoveries that could redefine physics, astronomy, and our very concept of intelligence in the cosmos. But more than that, it is a moment for all of us to reflect on the scale of the universe, the fragility of our perspective, and the possibilities that lie beyond what we see. If you've been following this journey with us, now is the time to stay alert. Keep watching the skies, question everything, and think critically about what these visitors may represent. And if this story has captured your imagination, don't let it end here. Hit that subscribe button to stay updated on every new development and turn on notifications so you won't miss a single update as these cosmic mysteries unfold. We also want to hear from you. Share your theories, your questions, and your interpretations in the comments below. Could Swan and 3i Atlas really be engineered machines? Are we witnessing the first tangible signs of extraterrestrial intelligence? Or is this simply the universe's way of reminding us how little we truly understand? The cosmos is speaking, and now it's our turn to listen. Stay curious, stay vigilant, and join us as we uncover what might be one of the greatest stories humanity has ever encountered.